Fergus the Good Little Engine. This is the story of Fergus, a little traction engine who always liked to do things right. One day, Sir Topham had asked him to help Bill and Ben at the quarry, but poor Fergus wasn't used to their tricks. Read about the trouble they caused him. Fergus, the little blue traction engine, was the pride of the cement works. He loved his work. He knew all the rules and always stuck to them. One morning, he was chuffing cheerfully across the island of Sodor. He was on his way to do a special job for the fat controller. As Fergus reached the station, there stood Thomas. He was waiting for his passengers to board Annie and Clarabelle. Thomas gave a friendly peep, peep on his whistle. Hello, Fergus, he said. I'm off to, the, to work in the quarry today, Fergus told Thomas proudly. Watch out for Bill and Ben, Thomas warned. They like to get up to mischief. Thank you, Thomas. I won't let a couple of rascals get the better of me, leashed Fergus. When Fergus arrived at the quarry, Mavis and the twins were waiting for him. Mavis was so Mavis was pleased that Fergus had come to help, and they set to work straight away. I'm afraid the trucks are in a mess, she said. Don't not to worry, puffed Fergus kindly. We'll soon sort them out together. Bill and Ben grinned with delight. Now we'll have some fun, whispered Ben. We'll have the old boiler in a spin, steam bill. Oh, boy. <clears throat> Fergus was happy working with Mavis. She is a useful engine, just like me, he thought to himself. But Bill and Ben were not behaving like useful engines at all. Bill banged his truck so hard that some rocks, some rocks fell out onto the track. Steady, called Fergus. Do it right. I know what I'm doing, wheezed Bill. Then Ben left his trucks on on the point so that Ver so that Fergus couldn't get out of the siding. You've boxed me in, steamed Fergus. Shift those trucks out of my way. Do it right. But Ben just grinned. Those two will never learn. The next day, the works crew was blasting rock. The siren sounded to tell the engines that there was danger ahead. There was a loud BOOM! And a cloud of dust filled the, the air. Wait for the all clear. Listen for the siren, Fergus told Bill and Ben. Do it right. There he goes again, said Bill. Do it right, do it right. It's all he tells us from morning till night. Keep your big funnel out of our quarry, huffed Ben rudely. Oh, brother. Later, the quarry master sent Bill and Ben to collect a new rock crusher from the harbor. Fergus spent a happy afternoon shunting trucks with Mavis. The quarry was a much more peaceful place without the twins around. Huh. At the harbor, Bill and Ben were still cross with Fergus. He's always telling us what to do, moaned Ben. He always says, do it right, said Ben. Next time he tells us what to do, wished Bill. We'll do it wrong, Ben said. With the rock crush, you're safely loaded onto a flat truck. Bill and Ben steamed back to the quarry as quickly as they could. Oh boy. The rock crusher was heavy. It made the rail shake as they It made the rail shake all the way back. Fergus was waiting for Bill and Ben to arrive. The blasting has made the rock face unsafe, he called to them. Stay away. Do it things right. Bill and Ben didn't listen. They rattled their load towards the cliff as roughly as they could. Oh no. 
not good. Suddenly, loose rocks and stones began to fall from the rock face. Look out! Weeshed Fergus. Help! Wailed Bill and Ben together. Fergus steamed forward and banged Bill and Ben out of the way. His, his driver jumped clear just in time, but the falling rocks bur buried Fergus right up to his funnel. Oh, poor Fergus. Mavis and the twin engines worked busily to carry away the rocks and rubble. It took a long time to dig poor Fergus out. No one worked harder than Bill and Ben to try and rescue the little traction engine. They didn't moan and there were no tricks. They wanted to do things right. At last Fergus, and Fergus was free. Bill and Ben were very ashamed of themselves. We shouldn't have been so naughty, said Bill. We're very sorry, Fergus, added Ben. As long as we're friends again now, smiled Fergus. Oh, yes, said the twins together. Good, smiled Fergus. From now on, we'll do it. We'll do things right together. The end. And I hope Fergus comes back into the TV series someday because people want to see him.